Howdy again. It's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is episode number 90B of my What Is It Mystery Tools series. I hope you watched part A, where I posed the question, what is this beautiful antique piece of metalworking equipment? Well, now for the answer. Some of you did get it correct, but there weren't very many of you, because Really, this is only the second one like this I've ever seen in my whole life, and I did work on with one of these and probably threaded thousands of holes back in the 60s in aluminum on, uh, I was working at Osborne Engineering, and we were making uh, fishing motors, trolling motors, electric motors, which would be in vogue right now, wouldn't it? EV. It's an EV boat. All right, let's get with it here. Now there will be a follow-up video at some point where I actually tap a bunch of holes on here to show you how it works, but now I'll just tap one hole and talk a little bit about it, what it does. And the interesting thing about it is that it's automatic reversing, so that you can back the tap out. And the tap is held in a Jacobs type chuck here. I'm not sure what, it's not a Jacobs, it's a very old one. I'm not sure if that is original because a hardened tap tends to slip in a drill chuck, but I will make it work for what I'm doing here. This is a little area here for the oil and the chips. They made these on several versions. They made a vertical, and this is the horizontal. They also made them floor mounted and bench mounted and uh, several other uh, configurations over the years, and the earlier ones were driven off of a line shaft, not a separate motor. I suspect this actual one was probably made in the 20s or 30s, maybe even the 40s from the looks of the motor. So here's the brass tag and you can see that it's a Rickard Schaefer made in Erie, Pennsylvania tapping machine, sometimes called a tapper, and it was patented back September of 1915. This is considerably Newer, or maybe not, if we're going here by, you know, could this be the date? May 1916? Yeah, who knows. Later, I will show you at the end of the video the patent drawings that some of you will be, in, all of you should be interested in these pictures. You really should, if you like this type of machinery. Taking a piece of balsa wood here, I'm just going to show you how it operates. Now, I have a foot switch, you can't see that. So now it's running and it's idling, it's not doing anything. But when you... You probably can't hear me <laughs> over the roar of this thing, so... I will push against the tap and you will see that it will rotate clockwise. Now if I push the other way, and I'll just use a block of wood, you will see that it is reversing. So that's the general principle, and we've got some friction material here, it's really leather, a wrap of leather here and here, and then of course the V-belt from the motor driving back here. Several oilers, now it is missing the work table. So I'm going to tap one hole in this video just to show you the general principles, but be sure and watch that later video, what makes it work in the future. I'm not sure when. Okay, I'm going to tap one hole in this aluminum, 5 sixteenths. neat. No safety at all? You're on your own in 1915. Well, you may have watched one of my videos a long time ago where I demonstrated this Procunior tapping machine. And it really does the same job, although this can be used on a drill press. I'm sure you have watched that video or seen these in use. So this is just a little different take on it. I thought it was real interesting, and thank you again to Lost Creek for loaning this to me. I do not own it. I have to return it tomorrow.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some still pictures that are pretty significant. See you next time. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up if you will. So long for now.